Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Sam and we are talking today about Tapforms 5 for iOS and Mac. Now, one of the powerful things that I've demonstrated with Tapforms is the link to form field. And the link to form field allows you to create links between different forms within your Tapforms document. Now, one of the limitations of this is that you can't link to documents outside of Tapforms. And I actually think that this is a reasonable uh, limitation of the system because you can't guarantee that that document is available on all of your systems, right? Whether that be your iPad, your iPhone, or obviously your Mac device. So that's not a feature that's in the box, or is it? Right? One of the things you can actually do with a Tapforms document is copy the link to to that particular uh, record right now let's just demonstrate this and we'll borrow uh, authors and we'll pick uh, Frank here and we'll go to edit and we'll hit copy record link now what that does is it gives us a link to this record and if I go into terminal and I'm going to use terminal here uh, and I type open and I hit paste uh, we can see in the terminal this really long URL, but it's tap forms, record, view. This is my unique database identifier. This is the form identifier, tap forms internal and form identifier. And this is the record ID. And uh, let's change this up a little and let's just make sure that we're not on the thing. When I hit enter, we can see that tap forms has brought this document to the focus. It's then gone to, to this particular entry. Now, this only works for documents that are in your Tapforms default directory. If you've relocated your Tapforms document to another location, this won't work. But if you've got your Tapforms document in the default directory, using this link will not only open the document for you, uh, but open the record for you. And we just saw that when I type that, hit enter, that YouTube document that I just closed appeared. Now, we can use this to create a record. And this is my script manager test. This is one of the forms I use, the documents I use to, to test my script manager. Uh, so we're just borrowing it today because uh, you can see that previously we, we've done some testing in this field, uh, table field there. Uh, what we're gonna add is a new website field. Uh, and we will call it the other document. And that's at the top there. Let's get rid of that so that we've got a little bit more space to work with. And we'll close that off. And in here, we're going to just paste this URL, tap forms. And we'll close off this document again. And now when I click on this, it again opens up the document and takes me to it. Let's uh, go somewhere else, close it, click on it again thinking about it for a second and bam. So this is a really quick way that you can create a link between your two different Tapforms documents and such that when you click on that little globe, Tapforms will open up uh, the other document for you and load up that record. Again, the caveat for this is it needs to be in your Tapforms default database documents directory. If you've created a Tapforms document and moved it somewhere else, uh, then this won't work. Uh, because it relies on scanning that directory and looking for the, the document. Uh, but if you're in the default directory here, so library containers, tap forms, data documents, uh, if you're in that default directory, then this little trick for linking, rec linking records between two different documents will work for you. Uh, and obviously this will also work if you're in the same document, right? So let's go have a look at that. Uh, Purchases, that's probably not a good one to use. Uh, let's use book. And we'll re-enable form. We'll create another website field here. Let's put it at the bottom. And website. Website and paste. Now, realistically, I wouldn't recommend this because there are much better ways of linking, right? As you can see, 
uh, we have a traditional link to form field here, one to many, uh, that's that's modeled. Uh, much more efficient, much better way of doing things. Uh, but obviously this works, right? Same principle as, as before. And you can actually use this trick to open uh, via JavaScript a particular record using the interface. That's all I wanted to cover today. Nice short one. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like uh, if this video helped you. And I will see you on the next time. Thanks for watching.